So we are out at the pasture and we are having an issue where the horses and the cows are not respecting our uh, round pen panels that we put around each of the individual trees and unfortunately they've gotten to some of them and eaten off a lot of the leaves. So we are doing a temporary fence around the perimeter of the fruit trees as well as the future garden so that I can go ahead and once we get the chicken tractor built, get the chickens out here and tilling at the land so I can start gardening out here, which I am super excited about. So Davis is tightening the perimeter of the middle rope and he's, I don't even know what it is exactly he's doing, but it is amazing because it's so quick. All right, babe, can you describe what exactly is it that you're... What I got here is I got a, stand, I got a loop tied in to the field of the knot itself or the, or the rope itself. Um, to show you how to do that real quick. A way you can tie the knot in, into the, the middle of the rope, you know, don't worry about the end, you know, you got two, two straight ends running that way, just take the same thing, lap it over itself, and you take those two pieces right there, and you granny knot it. Feed it back over itself. So what I do is I just stick up my finger, so that creates the loop for you, and then where your finger is, you're gonna feed that rope right up in there, let it go and you got a loop right in the middle of your rope. Creates a good way for me to tighten this rope up by hand instead of using come along or stretcher. Now in order to make, well, the knot that I use is a slip knot, so basically you're going to take your, you got your, your loop right here, you're going to come around both your ropes, and you're going to feed half the rope in like that, and then basically you're just going to allow that to tighten down on itself, but a lot of people get their fingers caught and it's hard to get it tight, so I'm going to show you how to do it real quick, extra tight right now, and then what I'm going to do, Blink, you'll miss it. Now snatch it real fast. And you got a nice tight rope. 
uh, and then I just tied a secondary slip knot through that, which is basically the same thing. Same way you kind of tie your horses up, and then pull it out like that. Like a quick release. And then what I want to do is I want to take this right here to create a big enough loop to go to my next one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this around and just tie it off. That way this one can go to my next string and I can take these two right here and tie them together. So now we got our connectors and they'll all run together on the same. Just like that. Same. And then when we make the gate, these are loose so that we will we'll tie them in a way to where when she pulls it, it'll stretch them out as tight as she can get it and they'll clip onto our gate clamps that we have. And that's it. So you saw how we did the corner T-posts with the wire. This time what we're doing is we're doing a cheap alternative to having um, the clip-on insulators. So what we've done is we cut down some PVC pipe to run the wire through and then we are using wire ties to tie it off on the T-post. Because we saw some very similar to this, just, just, just a different look. And I mean, how much was it for a pack? I think it was like, what, five or six dollars for a pack? More expensive than buying a whole thing of, the, of PVC pipe and cutting it down. Because we got to do, we would have had to get multiple packs in order to be able to do, because we got to do three at each T-post. It was only the, 10 in a pack. Yeah. So it would have added up real quick. We would have had to get at least two packs. So this saves us some money. Not going anywhere. All ran. We're gonna have to come back out next weekend to finish running the third strand, but we got it hooked up and it's running hot, and that should keep everyone out of our fruit trees. So, hope you guys hope that helped you guys out and gave you some ideas as to fencing property fencing livestock in or out of things and we'll be back in a second video to finish it up and show you guys the finished results update on annabelle hi pretty girl still no calf she is still round as can be hi annabelle it's getting fuller but somebody commented that sometimes older cows don't bag up as much as younger ones. So she may just go right up to calving and show no signs, but she is definitely fuller than she was. So, and she's also feeling uh, considerably looser in this area. She is feeling very loose. So that might be a good sign.